What's up everyone, Danny Lighten back with another CSR2 video. The new race pass is up, so we're going to check out the cars. We'll go over the stats and let you know if any of these cars are actually worth getting. So let's go do it to it. And don't forget to smash that like button. That would help me out big time. And if you have any game questions at all, feel free to leave a comment and ask. So let's get to it. So first, let's check out the white and pink Toyota Supra. This is the LB Silhouette Toyota Supra GR. This car will do about a 7.1. It'll do 0 to 60 in about 0 0.9, 0 to 100 in roughly 1.3 or 1.4. And it does about 437 miles per hour. And this car does have a pretty decent live racing setup on some stage 3 and stage 4 parts. That's a low performance point high Evo setup. Those are the best live racing setups currently. So this is actually a pretty decent car right here. I actually like this one a lot. So let's check out the next car. Next, we have the Acura 2022 NSX Type S. This is a tier five car with five golden stars running a 7.707. Did I get that right? Hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, it's a 7.7 .7 car. It's going to run 1.5 as far as the 0 to 60 time, about 1.8 for the 0 to 100, and it's going to do 457 miles per hour. So decent times, you know, not the greatest, but this car can beat the dyno time. You can turn this into a monster live racer if you know what you're doing with it. I think this car is a little harder set up than some of them, but you can do some pretty interesting stuff with this car. Next, we have the Nissan GTR prototype by Atelier Design, and this will run about a 7.6 something, 0 to 60 in about 0 0.9, 0 to 100 in about 1.7, maybe 1 1.8, and 598 miles per hour. So this car has excellent top speed, decent acceleration, runs a decent time. I don't think you're going to find any kind of interesting live racing setup this car is probably not going to do very well at live racing at all. So out of the free ones, I guess my choice would probably be the Supra and the Acura are both really nice cars. It's a little bit hard to decide between the two. I know a lot of people already have the Acura and a lot of people already have the Toyota. So, so in this case, I guess you just want to go with the one you don't, don't already have. If you don't have either one, I guess I would probably pick the... I would personally go with the Toyota. I like the Toyota a little bit better myself. It's a little bit easier to set up and drive and everything else. And it runs decent times. My second pick would be the Acura. And then, of course, my last pick would be that Nissan, which I don't really like too much at all. I think I have videos on at least two out of the three cars. I know I have some videos on some of the Supras, and they're pretty much the same thing as this. They just run a slightly different time. But bottom line is... I like the Supra best. I like the Acura second in the Nissan. Donna must have made that car. Next, we have the paid tier. We got the Purple Star ones. We got the Mazda Ferrari, the Lexus LFA, whatever package. I always pronounce it wrong, so I'm not even going to say it. And then we got the 2017 Nissan GTR R35. So let's find out which one of these are the top pick. Let's go and talk about the Mazda first. This is a 6.8 car, 0 to 60 and 0 0.3, 0 to 100 and 0 0.6. It'll do 321 miles per hour. So, you know, the top speed's not crazy high, but everything else on the car, those are really, really, really good times. There was a time when this was the fastest car, but it's kind of down the list a little bit now because the cars get faster and faster and faster. It does look like there's a way to set this up for live racing on some stage four and stage five parts. Sometimes you may need to throw a stage six part on there here and there, but there was kind of a lower performance point high Evo live racing set up for this car that looked like it was going to do pretty decent. So if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to live race this thing pretty well from what I can tell. So it seems like a pretty decent car. Next, we have the Lexus running a 7.3, 0 to 60 in about 1.0, 0 to 100 in about 1.5, and it's going to do 459 miles per hour. Not the greatest car in the game. Now, if you want to try and live race this car, well, you're probably not going to have much luck. It doesn't seem to have a good live racing setup. There's really nothing that stands out about this car other than it looks really nice, so... It would not be one of my choices to pick, honestly. I don't think I would go with this one, but let's move on to the next car. 
And finally, we have the 2017 Nissan GTR R35. This is the Lunar New Year car. And, you know, it's a Tier 4 car. It's not going to be crap for live racing, right? It, it's not going to live race worth a darn. Does not have a good live racing setup. You can find a live racing setup for it, but it's not as good as a lot of other cars. So it's going to be a so-so live racer. It's going to do about a 10.4. It's going to do 0 to 60 in 1.8, 0 to 100 in 2.9, and go 315 miles per hour. So the acceleration is not wonderful. The top speed is just kind of so-so, and the times are okay. So in my opinion, this is just kind of an okay car. Nothing special, nothing great. I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck beating the Tempest races with this. I believe they gave everybody this car for free at one time, so now it's part of the race pass. But uh, yeah, so those are the times on that one right there. Out of these three cars, there's really only one car that I would be interested in. The Mazda. That's a really cool looking car and uh, does have a good live racing setup if you know what you're doing. So I would definitely go with the Mazda. It seems like the best car out of the three to me. If I had to pick between the LFA and the Nissan there... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I would get. I don't really I don't really like either one of those cars. I guess I would probably just pick the one that looked best because neither one's that great. So yeah, go with the Mazda if you can. If not, I guess pick the one that has the best stats. All right, so there we go. There's the race pass. My picks. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> so I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to become a channel member, just drop down the video's description or click the little join thing. There's something in both. There's a link you can click or a little join button you can click. And I think I'm going to sneeze again. Huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much. If you drop down in the description, you'll also see my Discord servers, a bunch of game news, my other YouTube channels, and I think I'm going to sneeze again. Uh, hold on. It, it, maybe not. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lighten it out. My sinus is erect. See ya. <laughs>